Many pockets of college students have been hit hard by today's crime. With tuition, food, and living expenses, the last thing college students want to do is spend money on books. Lately, there has been a trend of renting books instead of buying them and being able to return them for money. But is this a new fad, or is it helping in the Texas store? According to store manager of TIS Bookstore in the Village, Pam Saminsky said it's been very popular with students, but it's hurting the business of bookstores. It's a risk for us. When we select a book that we make available to a student to rent, we are renting it sometimes at less than our cost of the book. So we need to hope that the instructor will continue using it at least four times in order for us to get our money back. Even though renting seems like the most cost-effective option for students, some students would rather buy the books. According to Ball State student Sinardria Pearson, a fashion major, she would rather buy the books from a cheaper store, such as Amazon or eBay, keep them. I'm not gonna rent a book. If it's cheaper to rent a book, why are students supposed to buy them? Books, I'm gonna need them for a lifetime. Like, now that I'm getting into my major, I can't really sell them books back because I'm gonna need them books in the future. Unfortunately, as college students, we must continue to wrestle with the question, do I rent or buy? This is Tiffany Shackleford from News 221.